In between camping trips, I'm always searching for useful stuff that I can use out here. And uh, I had a couple I'll share with you. Um, number one is I use uh, wired headphones uh, for my phone. And, uh, you know, they're a real pain in the neck. They continuously get uh, tangled and all that, and I have not found a solution that would work. But I found these things surfing the web. It's a silicone wrap, and it has these high-power magnets. So what you do is you just take your phone or whatever it is you want to organize, and you wrap these around it, and you just stick it with a magnet. And it is just the greatest little thing. I mean, it just changed my life. I'm a new man. Silicone is really durable. I use it all over the trailer. It's good for some other things too. It doesn't degrade in the sun, uh, which is really good. You know, rubber bands degrade and all that. So, I mean, I, I bought a whole load of them and uh, they're not cheap, but they, uh, they should last quite a while. They all stick together. And, uh, you know, you can stick these on a refrigerator. You can hang a flashlight from a refrigerator with these things. Um, to dry my washcloth, um, since it's microfiber, you just squeeze it out really good. And uh, I don't have any clothespins, so I'm using these uh, magnetic wraps, which uh, I can see I'm going to have to put more of these in the trailer because I use them a lot. It's uh, basically a silicone loop, and the magnets stick together. They're pretty strong, uh, you know. Depends what you're doing with them. But they uh, they stick together really well. And uh, that's my uh, clothespins. I'm going to add more of these magnetic loops to the uh, trailer. Uh, they're just uh, <laughs> really useful. The other thing is silicone again. And that is the silicone rubber bands. These things, um, you know, I like rubber bands. Uh, uh, they're, they're pretty good and uh, the trouble with a rubber band on a trailer is on a camping trip They typically dry out and break and they're really uh, they, they don't hold up well in sunlight, but uh, the silicone rubber bands I, I I'll have links in the bottom for these two. They're not cheap. They're about 35 cents a piece, but uh, They are great. I use them for everything and I've organized everything. I use them to uh, uh, to mark my cups and stuff so we know whose is what, you know, uh, my everything. Um, I've used them on flashlights uh, all over the place. So I'm always happy when I find some good products that I can share. Um, and if you're a rubber band user but you're dissatisfied with rubber rubber bands and you want to try a silicone band, uh, amazing stuff. I expect to get long life out of them. If they start failing, I'll let you know. <laughs> but uh, right now, the promise is a... Uh, a UV impervious rubber band that can be used uh, in a variety of outdoor ways. Um, you know, for cleaning dishes and all, I use your typical sponge, a uh, cellulose sponge, and uh, I have 3M scrubbers, and I have uh, you know a cellul cellulose sponge scrubber combo. Uh, they all work out just fine, but the Cleaning power, you know, I make oatmeal in the morning sometimes. I like a varied diet and I'll make oatmeal and to scrub out the pot with this thing is uh, A sponge is just not up to the job of removing gunk and uh, You know while this one will do it I, I consider the green scrubber these 3m scrubbers more of a scrub if I have a scrub job to do but I bumped into these silicone sponges and these things are quite amazing they are very porous you stick them in water and take them out and wring them out, they don't hold any water. They just completely, you know, if you're looking for something to wipe down a surface, this is not it uh, because it absorbs no water. <laughs> uh, the good news is it doesn't mold. It doesn't uh, get funky like sponges do. Um, it can handle heat really well. And it has a scrubby feel to it. Now... In the summer, when I get like a little sunburn or something, and I'm in the shower, I love a brush. But these are really good because they scrub your skin. You know, it's gentle enough for my skin. Uh, everyone's skin is different. But it's good enough to scrub out oatmeal on a pot. It's good enough for pot scrubbing. Uh, but, you know, of course, I still keep those 3M things around. There are some scrub jobs uh, that you need a, a 3M scrubber for. So, uh, really good. These silicone sponges, I'll have links to them, too. They're... Uh, they're, they're good. Again, you're not going to wipe down a surface with this, but if you want to scrub something and you want a gentle scrub that's good enough on your skin, I keep them in my, uh, my uh, kit for, uh, for showering uh, because they, uh, 
they uh, they're good for scrubbing down so uh, if you're looking for something like that maybe even your car you know you want a gentle scrub for your car these are pretty good 